everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So today I am going to be working in my junk journal. A lot of you have seen this journal. And I just picked out an, uh, just a couple of different things that I want to use on a page. So I have a vague I, sort of an idea, I guess, of what I want to do. So I've only got just a couple of little things that I want to use. So let's see where this takes me today. Hopefully it will be inspiring for you and let's begin i guess i like to have all sorts of different things going throughout a journal ribbons beads bits and pieces right so uh, of course i also like some thread and this is really nice gold it's not really coming across as very gold but it's gold um some sort of a yarn thread so what i want to do is i want to have little tassels kind of thing all around this page so this is my page I'm working on today and then I want to do something with this little uh, off cut from a 12 by 12 page you know how down the bottom they have sometimes they have this sort of thing so I want to use this and then I just want to decorate a little bit maybe do something on this page I'll just start and see where it takes me um, so this this here is just a black page from some sort of a catalog or, or a book I can't remember what it was and then I have previously stuck this down this is actually leftovers from stickers so that's I've previously done that I don't know if I left it a pocket no because it was stuck down okay so the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to punch some holes all around so I might speed up quite a bit of this process So there's some holes punched. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is figure out how many. Mm, just going to figure out sort of how much of this string I want. So I can sort of weave it in through with a needle. That would take a lot less time than what I'm planning to do. But I'm actually going to do each one individually. So of course I'm going to speed up this video. But I just want to test one. Let's see just want to see how I'm actually going to do it if I am going to use a needle or if I'm just going to thread, thread them through all individually like this I don't know I kind of like that so I might just go ahead and do, do them individually and just speed it up for you guys Okay, so that's one hairy page, isn't it? So now I'm just wondering if I should trim it down a little bit. I think I will, just so it's not in my way all the time. So I'm going to give it a haircut. All right, let's do a little haircut. I don't want to trim these bits. Maybe I'll start out here and then, you know, and then maybe if I need to take off some more, maybe I can leave this side a little bit longer. And I'm going to keep these. I can staple them on to things. I like the short short. That looks very boho. Alright, so that's how that's looking now. It's, you know, it'll be, I think, one, you know, flipping through a journal and seeing all different bits and pieces and stuff. I think it adds, I just like seeing, I, I like seeing different things, I guess, in a journal. Alright, so now that that's done, I want to add this. I'm just going to trim it down first something wonderful is about is about is about to happen or is about to happen make a quick decision all right here we go let's see how this is going to look 
always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. Yeah, some inking is in order and then I'm going to glue it down. Right, so now I'm just going to glue it down. Okay, so now I would like something down here. And I just had pulled out this little cluster that I had on my desk. So I wonder if, I don't know. I think before I decide on this, I think I want to do something on this page. Just to, because it doesn't look good at the moment. So I just want to do something to tie, tie it all in. So I'm just going to have a look in my scrap folder. Maybe something this color would be nice. That, oh, oh, that goes well. And that. All right, let's do something with those two. Oh, I like that. So even though this is quite nice, like a little postcard, I still don't think it goes well with this page. So I'm going to cover it up. I wonder what I should do. This is too large, this page. So I just need to trim it down a little bit. So I just wanted, there's already some inking on this side. I just want to ink around the other side. So I need my scrap little piece of paper. And I'll be using, I've just recently started using this. Oh, maybe too much ink. That's all right. That looks good. But I've, somehow I feel like I really just want to sew around it. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah. Check it out. That looks so much better. And the black thread, you know, kind of ties it in with the other page. This one here. So that was a good move. I always like to add a little bit of stitching. Just makes everything looks uh, just makes everything look nicer and stand out a little bit more. Oops. So now I'm just going to glue this down. I like to use I like to double glue to make sure that nothing is falling out in you know, six months. Do we mind that it's all crinkly? I'm not sure. Well, how do I feel about that? I don't think I mind. I guess I don't mind, but I would prefer for it to be flat. Okay. Right, so now we've got that and that, and look, oh, that all ties in nicely. Even this picking out from this page is tying in nicely with this color over here. Now, what am I going to do with this? I think without it, I think I feel like this area here needs something. So, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe that there. I also have a little piece of this. So, would it be... Ooh, maybe even this side. No, this side's better. So would a little ruffle maybe be an overkill? Let's see. Might be a bit of an overkill. Ruffle. Little snippet. So should I have it here? Which looks quite nice. Or that doesn't look quite nice. That doesn't look quite nice. So... I'm thinking maybe I can do something like this. I'm going to glue this down here because I really like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then see how I feel about it. Oops. A little bit of a ruffle. Nice. A little bit of a cluster. Just like that. Nice. That looks nice. That looks nice. And then here, I wonder if I can, what can I do here? I just want to try something. If I do 
I just wonder we learn by trial and error so I wonder if I make two slits in a page how, how about that yeah I'm gonna try and do that here maybe this way and then I can have maybe this way yes oh if I wreck it I wreck it well, what can I do that's what that's what this is all about right so I'm just going to protect and maybe I can have some paper clips going this way which means I need to do a slit this way oh look at that we cut into the page let's see please work I like it it's kind of unexpected a little touch of a little something unexpected so just a paper clip would it be what about if we do two okay so this finished page is really speaking to my heart I'm really loving it uh, what I love about it the most is how it's all of these colors and elements are tying in together even this one here I don't know if you can see I didn't even notice that before so that's all tying in beautifully here and then we've got black here and black stitching and black page here and it's all I think looks quite co cohesive and I often find that I will start with an idea like my idea for this page was this hairy these hairy edges and then it just goes from there so as we're creating you know all of these things come into our mind and all of these memories and things like that and this quote here I always believe that something wonderful is about to happen I just remembered uh, something that happened we were at a friend's house and we were just having a few laughs and you know probably watching Eurovision or something you know all habits die hard and I remember saying how sometimes when I come home oftentimes actually when I come home and as I put the key into the door to unlock the door and walk into the house I'll have a horrible thought pop into my head like someone's gonna jump at me from the corner and you know banish a knife or something crazy like that and my friend said to me well why don't you instead of imagining something horrible happening why don't you imagine something really wonderful happening something really nice and I said oh okay so like what like what for example and he said well every time you put the key into the door just picture a little winning lottery just ticket winning lottery ticket just flowing down from the sky and falling next to your feet and you know uh, it, it was really funny we were all laughing about it and you know it's it's a bit more far-fetched than the you know someone jumping me but ever since then and this happened a few years ago ever since then every time I put the key into my door I remember this story and I instead of thinking the negative thought I think the really funny positive one and you know I look for that winning lottery ticket so I think that's what this is all about and I might even write that little story here so I hope that you like the process I think that this creative process you know as we are gluing things down and creating new ideas pop into our heads memories and all of the things that we can do and that's why I love junk journaling and that's what it's all about you know like people sometimes get stuck with what should I write about or what should I I don't know what to do or where to start but I think uh, starting is the hardest part so in this case I just decided I'm going to do some hairy edges and it all went from there and I'm really really happy with how this came out how it looks and also what it represents so I hope that you like it too and thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you in my next video bye